how much performance is left on the table if you drop a Ryzen 5000 series CPU into a 300 series motherboard? Um, I haven't looked into it that specific scenario, but I would say next to no performance is left on the table. Uh, if, if, you, if you took a, a 300 series board, at least one that isn't gonna VRM throttle or something silly like that, and a 500 series board, you use the same memory, latest BIOSes, they should be fairly indistinguishable. Yeah, I would have thought the only, the only concerns would be PCI, not having PCI 4.0 support is going to be one potential limiting factor. I think maybe up to, for most scenarios, Which, 5%. Unless you have a 6500 XT. Well, probably. that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I guess the other area would be potentially the quality of motherboards with <laughs> memory compatibility <laughs> is probably not as good on 300 series as five, the 500 series stuff. Yeah, again, even that thing's but, board dependent. Yeah. So, But it, I... It, it's it's certainly something that I actually will be looking into uh, in the near future as sort of an upgrader's guide because there's been so many questions around this and I think it's quite interesting to have a a snapshot, a look back at the whole yep. first generation and by first generation Ryzen, I mean like the AM4 generation of Ryzen and and see how that all ties together as we're coming up to the end of it. Yep. But yeah, I my gut feeling is nothing that you need to worry about.